Welcome to the uh, July 1st meeting of the Finance Committee, and welcome to July. If you're online and you're joining us today, um, if you would raise your virtual hand, um, Jennifer will recognize you if you'd like to make public comment. If you're here in the meeting room with us, if you would make sure that all of your electronic devices are on uh, manners mode and be sure to introduce yourself um, before making public comment if you choose to make public comment. And so at this time, we'll ask uh, Jennifer to read the first item. Number 16 resolution authorizing the submission of an application by the city of Cheyenne for federal funding through the transportation alternatives program administered by the Wyoming Department of Transportation for the purpose of construction for a greenway path for pedestrians and bicycles from the Sun Valley open space into Kiwanis Community Park. Staff report, please. Uh, Chair, members of the Finance Committee, uh, Jeannie Shrednick, Parks and Greenway Planner. The item for consideration is an authorization from Council to submit a TAP grant application for construction of a portion of the Sun Valley to Kiwanis Park Greenway Connector. A grant application was for construction of this segment was submitted last year, but unfortunately the project was not funded. The Sun Valley to Kiwanis Park Connector will be an approximately 2.4 miles and will run from the existing greenway trailhead located at Baldwin Drive, which is south of the Sun Valley subdivision and east of North College Drive, then head east towards the Kiwanis Community Park. Per discussions with Wydot representatives last fall, the city has moved forward this year to complete the full design and has obtained all the needed right-of-way purchases and uh, plans to utilize the TAP funds for construction in the next two years. The connector has been discussed and listed as a priority in several planning documents since 2000 and with the purchase of the Kiwanis Park property and other properties along abutting the UPRR, the Greenway Advisory Committee has agreed that this is a top priority for use of 2021 six penny funding. Based on the estimated total cost, the project will be completed in two phases. Phase one, Baldwin to Gettysburg is expected to have a total cost of $1.9 million. If the grant is approved, the city would pay 900,000 or 47% of the cost um, with 2021 six penny funding and the TAP grant would pay $1 million or 53%. Submission of the grant to include a resolution by the governing body is due July 15th, 2024. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Any questions or comments from committee? Okay, seeing or hearing none, any public comment? Councilman Laborn, welcome. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, <clears throat> having just fairly recently filed for re-election, um, I've followed this project for quite a few years and it is a pretty special one in that it takes that uh, from College Drive over to what someday will be a major community park. So I did want to compliment uh, Jeannie here on all of the pieces that had to be put together. Then there's another one coming up later in this uh, meeting, but uh, it wasn't easy and it wasn't very unusual piece of strip of property there that for many years had no use in a lot of different problems of fires, vandalism, and uh, things that shouldn't happen. So um, I'm really pleased and proud to be the sponsor of this. And I look forward to uh, seeing if we can't get that grant and get those, uh, get that project moving because it's really gonna make a big difference in East Cheyenne. Thank you. Thank you. Any other public comment? I did want to note uh, for my colleagues on the committee that I did ask about the funding um, for the six penny sales tax uh, funding from 2021. Um, and that amount right now is uh, approximately $1,347,000 before the $900,000 amount would be um, subtracted from that. So it does not empty that account. I um, did have a question um, for Jeannie, I just wondered if the 
uh, if we knew why the TAP grant was not successful last time, and if we've been able to make any changes in order to ensure that it has a better chance this time. Um, yes, ma'am. One of the issues was that we had not secured all of the right of way we needed. We just finished up last year on all of those property purchases. Um, and another thing that they thought would be a benefit to us is getting those construction plans done, which we're very close to finishing at this point. Um, the, you know, things changed with the TAP grant a couple of years ago where it went to a million dollars instead of 500,000. And it also reduced the requirement the cities have to match to like just under 10%. So it also became very competitive. Um, but I think we're in a very good position this year, having done all of this work that we've done. Great, thank you. Any other questions or comments from committee? Hearing none, I would entertain a motion. Uh, Madam Chair, I move to adopt. Second. We have a motion from Councilman Cook and a second from Councilman White. Um, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay, this item will move forward with a recommendation to approve at the next meeting of the council. Next item, please. Number 17, resolution, supporting the Cheyenne Regional Airport Board in the application and acceptance of federal assistance from the Federal Aviation Administration under the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law to assist in the rehabilitation of the air traffic control tower. Great, staff report, please. Do we have anyone here from the airport? Oh, we do. Thank you, Jennifer Nelson, Director of Finance for the Cheyenne Airport. Um, this uh, application was actually already submitted through a whole nother application process for competitive funds. Um, the airport was granted $850,000. That's 100% federally funded under the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law Contract Tower application. Um, so this is just the kind of second part of this process to um, actually go through your process so that the mayor can sign the grant assurances and the grant agreement. Great. Thank you so much. Any questions or, or Councilman Cook? Um, yes, Madam Chair, through you, uh, which I'm assuming we are talking about the uh, current tower that we are using, or I, I just want to be clear on which tower this, these funds are being. I'm assuming it's the the, the tower that we currently use on that, the airfield. That's correct. Yes, it's the um, what we call the new tower, <laughs> um, and it, yeah. it is um, for the rehabilitation of that. Um, there was some water damage, and um, okay. to help repair some of those um, things, we don't currently receive any funding um, from the FAA to help cover those costs. So this was to help um, bring it up to to par. Great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions for staff? Okay, hearing or seeing none, any public comment? Okay, seeing or hearing none, I would entertain a motion. Uh, Madam Chair, I move to adopt. Second. We have a motion from Councilman Cook, a second from Councilman White. Um, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay, this item will move forward to the next uh, meeting of the council with a recommendation to approve. Next item, please. Number 18B, grant of utility easement between the city of Cheyenne and Cheyenne Lake Fuel and Power Company doing business as Black Hills Energy, located on a portion of Lot 8, Block 1, Centennial Heritage, second filing, city-owned property. Staff report, please. Uh, Chair. Uh, Jean Trednick, Parks and Greenway Planner. Um, the item for consideration is a grant of an approximately 244 square foot utility easement to Cheyenne Light Fuel and Power doing business as Black Hills Energy for utility facilities on a portion of Lot 8, Block 1, Centennial Heritage, second filing. The requested easement is located in the area of uh, the future Sun Valley to Kiwanis Park Greenway. It's essentially the land that we did the land exchange with Swagger Construction for. Um, we checked the language and added um, some re uh, requirements for berry depth so that we don't run into any problems there in the future. Um, and we did have the easement um, reviewed and approved by our city surveyor. I'd ha be happy to answer any questions you have. Any questions? From committee. 
had one question, uh, Jeannie. It, the land that we traded with Swagger Construction, we that exchange has been completed and is completely outside of any of his uh, assets that could be taken in financial issues. Yes, thank they you. are split. Okay, thank you. Hey, any um, public comment? I see none, I would entertain a motion. Uh, Madam Chair, I move to approve. Second. We have a, a motion from Councilman Cook, a second from Councilman White. Is there any discussion? Hearing or seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay, this item will move forward to, to the next meeting of the council rec with a recommendation to approve. Next item, please. Number 18C, a memorandum of understanding between the City of Cheyenne and Cheyenne Frontier Days Incorporated for the use of city-owned land and buildings for parking, camping, and other activities during the 2024 Cheyenne Frontier Days celebration. Staff report, please. Madam Chair, Jason Sanchez, Community Rec and Events. This is a MOU we've had with CFD for many, many years. Uh, the only significant change in this MOU is that we removed the Qantas Community House from the from the MOU um, as that will be used as a command post this year and not used for any other CFD events. Um, as uh, previous years, the first $14,500 from parking will be applied toward the fireworks show and the Shine Frontier Days Committee covers the, the balance, which is significantly more than 14.5. Uh, again, this is a con or an MOU we've had with them for many years um, and I'm here to answer any questions. Any questions for committee, from committee? Okay, hearing or seeing none, any public comment? Seeing or hearing none, I would entertain a motion. Uh, Madam Chair, I move to approve. Second. We have a motion from Councilman Cook and a second from Councilman White. Is there any discussion? Hearing or seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 This item will move forward to the next meeting of the council with a recommendation to approve. Next item, please. Number 20C, consideration of bid number S-25-24 for an agreement between the City of Cheyenne and Westcom Incorporated for the Norris Viaduct Lighting Modifications and I-180 Pedestrian Bridge Lighting Project. 2019 to 2022 or optional 1% sales tax fund. Staff report, please. Good afternoon, Madam Chair and members of the committee. I'm Rick Amon, City Traffic Engineer. This is a combined project um, with the Norris Viaduct uh, lighting modifications and the I-180 pedestrian bridge lighting. Um, first of all, I wanna thank the Wyoming Independent Citizens Council for bringing forth the request for the lighting that we're doing on the I-180 uh, bridge um, due to safety concerns for pedestrians in that area moving across uh, that, that section of roadway. This project is to improve the safety for pedestrians and enhance the area, including some wall lighting of the overpass murals in the area. Um, lighting will include conventional street style lighting to improve visibility and safety for the street sidewalk infrastructure on both ends and uh, improve visibility and safety for the street sidewalk infrastructure um, of the ramps and the overpass lighting. Um, also included with this project is some light, lighting modifications along just south of the Norris Viaduct uh, due to some maintenance concerns and just trying to uh, alleviate some of the uh, maintenance headaches for our traffic folks. This project was bid by only one contractor for which the amount to consider is $164,772 and a possible additional 10% incentive of $16,477.20 to Westcom Incorporated, um, who is a parent company of Delta Y, uh, who is an electrical contractor out of Gillette, Wyoming. So the, the total for that, including the incentive, would be $181,249.20. Mr. Cobb and I both recommend um, accepting this bid. Um, I would be happy to answer any questions you have. Any questions from committee or comments? Just to clear, uh, yes, Madam Chair. Just to Council clarify, uh, through you to Mr. Amon, just to clarify, Rick, that incentive was if uh, 
they're able to complete the project prior to the end of the year, correct? Through you, Madam Chair, to the councilman. Um, that is correct. Uh, the 10% incentive is for the completion by December 13th. Great. Um, we, we thought that was a, a necessary incentive to try to get this project done as soon as possible. It's kind of been on the city's agenda to get done for a while. And, you know, it's just an effort that we made to, to try to uh, hurry this project up. Yeah. Um, one other comment, Madam Chair, through you. Uh, this, as Mr. Amon said, had indicated this project, the pedestrian bridge lighting project was really led by the Wyoming Independent Citizens Coalition and spearheaded by Carla Gregorio and Palmer Trujillo. So they deserve a lot of thanks. Um, but I really wanted to also thank my colleagues from Ward 1, Mr. Roybal and Mr. Laybourne for uh, supporting this project as well and really kind of uh, making sure that this was uh, a focused effort and 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 stayed on the city's radar because I know how busy both uh, Mr. Cobb and Mr. Amon are but uh, we really wanted to get this done and uh, they've been uh, very accommodating so it's it's good to good to finally see this on the agenda I know uh, I know those uh, the folks that really wanted this are are very happy about that. Any other questions or comments from committee? I would say it's really nice to uh, see you out and about, Mr. Amon. I don't think I I had a chance to see you or meet you in person. And so I see that Mr. Cobb is trusting you to solo today. So nice to have you here. Thanks for being here. Um, any public comment? Hearing none, I would entertain a motion. Madam Chair, I move to accept the, uh, the bid in an amount not to exceed $181,249.20. Second. Second. Okay. <laughs> we have a motion from Councilman okay. Cook, a second from Councilman White. Any discussion? Hearing or seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay, this item will move forward with a recommendation to uh, approve at the next meeting of the council. With that, we've accomplished our agenda today. So have a happy 4th of July and we'll see you next week.